When the Royal Marines of M Company 4-2 Commando launched Operation Zamrod Olay June 25th, they came expecting a fight. Yesterday's operation was uh, more high risk from the sort of patrols we do at the moment in our area. I uh, was expecting a high risk of IED, uh, small arms fire and possibly grenades. Indeed, as the mission began in northern Natalie district, Helmand province, it seemed that would be the case. The operation aimed to disrupt insurgents near Loy Chok and Loy Mando, where 4-2 commando units had recently encountered IEDs, insurgents and casualties. Within an hour of M Company's landing, a unit less than half a mile north engaged in a prolonged firefight with insurgents. But on this day, M Company would not encounter any resistance themselves. Instead, the mission proved a chance for the Afghan forces and the Marines to talk with locals. Uh, this was an ANSF partner op, uh, very much leading the way on engaging with the local nationals, providing reassurance to them uh, that our presence in the area would be lasting. Uh, and therefore they could rely on the government of Afghanistan to replace the vacuum left uh, by the insurgents' withdrawal. While the commandos expected stiff resistance in Lloyd Chok, there were signs that that area could soon enjoy a degree of calm, similar to that in the company's usual area of operations. It's probably six to nine months ago, uh, the area around PB Kumar, um, the area of Shawal and Nikhilabad Kalei uh, were, were pretty much as Lloyd Chak is now, uh, which is very much a contested area. Um, and an area that we had physically to fight for. But I think as a general rule you could say that the progress we've seen here across the board is possible in most areas uh, and looked from my limited understanding of the Lloyd Chakti area, looked very much to be possible in that area too. The hope is that with the completion of Operation Zamrod Olay, some of that calm will now take root in this troubled area. Reporting for Regional Command Southwest in Helmand Province, I'm Staff Sergeant Jeremy Ross.